is at the Petrol Gallery in Kandala, the Petrol Gallery, and I've got an exhibition of my work on here at the moment, so it's a fantastic space. And we start off with the tackle seeds here, and there's a selection of the more unusual pieces, so the sculptural look of the Aracimas, it's a different Aracima Francetianum, and Aracina candidissimum, which I drew larger than life to capture the shape and the beautiful colours of it. Uh, and Anna has beautiful uh, pottery pieces and sculptural pieces in here as well. It's a whole selection of different people's work and some fantastic ideas for Christmas presents or presents for any time of the year. Um, Jewellery, pottery, sculpture, all sorts of lovely pieces in here according to your taste. And then some more of my Aracimas. So these are from the Wellington Botanic Gardens collection and some that I grew myself as well, the Sokokianum. And then Speciosum is here. And so the intensity of the, of the color of the spathe. Up to the leaves at the top. And this is just such a beautiful space here. Um, really shows all the work off so well. And we're going down to Aracima Fargesi, which I um, painted much larger than life. So it's four times. So I wanted to give an idea of the amazing uh, shape of the flower and you'll see what you can always climb into it. And then the humour of the chilli peppers that I say are too hot to handle. So again, capturing the uh, creases and the detail and the different colour nuances, colour changes and then obviously your shadows have got lots of colour in the shadows as well, not just grey. Um, some of the, the ink drawings on the Belgian linen canvas and my two line drawing uh, and a selection of, of different tea towels in linen and in cotton to the mouse plant over here. They, they had really fun putting these together to sort of give a bit of rhythm to the painting. And then Devil's Tongue, or the Amorphophallus, this huge, this distinky that was at the Wellington Botanic Gardens. Um, it's pollinated by, by flies and absolutely smelt horrible, but the colours are glorious and the colours and, and the whole three-dimensional shape. And then Anna's got my silk scarves here and the the wool scarves as well and a whole selection of of my pieces of work different so the tote bag and this garden apron here over to tea towels and and some more pieces of different different people's work here as well and some leather bags and all sorts of lovely ideas in, in here And then here, this is the Dactylanthus and the short-tailed bat, and I wanted to show the whole ecosystem here and the combination of, of the species to um, help raise awareness that they are uh, critically endangered. It shows, shows the male flowers and uh, the female flowers and the, the bat pollinating, which is most important, it's a symbiotic relationship between the two. And it shows the whole process through to the, the fruit, fruiting stage as well. So it's got the whole life cycle as well as the ecosystem of the different insects and the bats that pollinate the dactylanthus. And then the wood rose as graphite and the detail of the flowers there. And round two, some prints that are available of native uh, New Zealand plants and graphite drawing here of the metrosideros, a cross section of the seed head and the medusa like flower of the uh, Budkawa as well. And then onto the other side of the gallery where there's a fa fabulous selection of other people's, other artists' work and other people's work in here as well. And so these really interesting lights and pottery and tiles. I mean, there's so many wonderful gifts in here, lots of lovely ideas, books and different tiles and different pottery. So all sorts of fabulous 
things on here and gifts and ideas for anybody. If you've got a problem for a gift, come and see Anna and other people's work over here. Absolutely stunning. Uh, Philip's birds. Absolutely beautiful. And round to the, the handmade rocking horse. So we've got somebody in mind for a rocking horse. And other people's work up here. And then again, Philip's stunning oils on here. Just beautiful.